Welcome to part three of your Print Institute's Introduction to Dye Sublimation. In the last clip, we showed you how to set up your Epson SCF500. Next is printing your file. Earlier, you made the file a width of 610 millimeters and your choice of height. In Illustrator, go to File, Print, Setup. Select your Epson SCF500, Document Size, User Defined, OK. Custom Paper Size, OK. OK. Print. A key part to dye sublimation is image placement. Once your artwork is printed, you can now trim down the paper. Trimming down the image will make your next step easier. An important part of the dye sublimation process is taping your printed artwork to the blank product. Use heat resistant tape to secure your artwork in place. Taping down your image will reduce ink bleeding and transfer, ensuring your design is clear on your final product. When placing your blank in the heat press, which is set to the settings you selected earlier, wear heat resistant gloves and place your item down carefully, placing the protection paper on top to protect your blank. When removing your product from the press, be sure to use the heat resistant gloves again as your blank will be hot. Place your finished product down and carefully remove the paper and tape. We hope this course was helpful and you can now confidently create your own personalised giftware with dye sublimation. Your Print Institute's sister company, Your Print Specialists, provides the Epson SCF500 as part of their business in a box, including the heat press we use today, the Pixmax 50x50. If you found this course helpful, please check out our other online courses.